In 1999, a sci-fi action cyberpunk film was released directed by Lana and Lily Wachowski. The Matrix was a game changer in the way action movies were made in Hollywood. The use of Hong Kong style martial arts, heightened slow motion to emphasize movement in bullet time, and computer generated backgrounds were all in part popularized by The Matrix. The film depicts a dystopian future in which humanity is unknowingly trapped inside a simulated reality, The Matrix, created by thought-capable machines to distract humans while using their bodies as an energy source. When computer programmer Thomas Anderson, under the hacker alias Neo, meets the mysterious Morpheus who leads him to the truth, he's drawn into a rebellion against the machines along with other people who have been freed from The Matrix. Morpheus seeks out Neo because he believes Neo is the one, an extremely powerful individual prophesized to free humanity and end the war. He tells Neo, while he's still part of the Matrix, that he's only alive because they, the machines and the agents of the Matrix, don't know what he knows. We later learn that he's referring to Neo being the prophesized one. We also know that the Oracle who made that prophecy also prophesied that Morpheus was going to find the one. But what information led Morpheus to believe that Neo was it? How did he even find Neo? And when he did, how did Morpheus know that Neo was the one? The answer is that he didn't. Morpheus didn't know or have any credible information that Neo was the prophesized one. Morpheus chose to believe that Neo was the one that they were looking for. The oracle says to Neo that being the one is like being in love. No one can tell you you're in love, you just know it. Nobody told Morpheus that Neo was the one. The oracle told Morpheus that he would find the one, not who it would be. And after spending so long looking, it really is probably as simple as he just had a feeling. Morpheus found the one person who, for some reason he couldn't explain, made him believe that he had succeeded. Throughout the film, we see evidence that Morpheus gives a lot of weight to faith, belief and ideals. To Morpheus, belief is the same as knowledge. He believed that he would find the one and thus he knew that Neo was it. As you can see in this section from the script that didn't make it into the movie, when Cypher and Neo are talking by themselves, just after he hands Neo the weird drink that's good for degreasing engines and killing brain cells, Cypher asks Neo if Morpheus told him why he freed him from the Matrix and he says, I'll bet he didn't tell you this wasn't the first time he thought he found the one. And later when, spoiler, Cypher betrays them and is about to pull Neo's plug while he's in the Matrix killing his mind, he says, if Morpheus was right, then there's no way I can pull this plug, is there? If he's the one, then in the next few seconds, there has to be some kind of miracle to stop me. Because if he dies like the others, that means Morpheus was wrong. And how can he be the one if he's dead? If he dies like the others, could be a reference to all the other people Morpheus believed was the one but ended up dead. The others could also refer to Apoc and Switch. It's a matter of interpretation. There was a subplot that was actually filmed but edited out that explained that for a while, Morpheus had been pointing his finger to a random guy saying, he's the one, just because the oracle told him that he'll find him one day. So there were about five guys before Neo and all five ended up dead when they faced the danger of the Matrix. These scenes paint Cypher in a different light. He's not just pissed off at Morpheus for not telling them the truth when he was freed. He considers him a very dangerous fanatic. In the interrogation scene with Agent Smith after they apprehend him at his job, Smith says, it seems you've been living two lives. In one life, you're Thomas A. Anderson, program writer for a respectable software company. You have a social security number, you pay your taxes, and you help your landlady carry out her garbage. The other life is lived in computers, where you go by the hacker alias Neo and are guilty of virtually every computer crime we have a law for. Earlier in the club, where Neo meets Trinity for the first time, Neo says, Trinity, the Trinity, that hacked the IRS key base? It seems that Morpheus has a habit of keeping an eye on the hacker scene inside the Matrix. Since Neo is presented as a pretty notorious computer criminal, that's likely how Morpheus first heard of him. Also corroborated by the fact that they never refer to him as anything other than his online alias. When Morpheus meets him, he praises Neo's abilities with a computer. In early versions of the script, it was more explicit that Morpheus was considered one of the greatest hackers ever lived. So for him to commend Neo, that must mean that Neo is amazing. The red pill people are able to bend the matrix to their will. The act of skirting the rules, jumping long distances and doing super fast martial arts and dodging bullets is a form of hacking. 
It's hacking that uses the interface provided by the matrix for interacting with the simulation and is only performed on a subconscious level for most red pills, with the exception of Neo at the end of the first movie where he gains the ability to see the matrix interface for what it is and more directly exploits its weaknesses. As such, seeing as how that ability was what defined the one in the first movie, it's not unfeasible that Morpheus was able to glean that Neo was capable of that level of Matrix hacking by observing his simulated blue pill hacking. This may be a bit of a stretch when thinking logically, but when acting out of faith and emotion as Morpheus did, it may be all he needed to convince him of Neo's destiny. Because belief is one of the driving concepts of the first Matrix movie, it's safe to assume that Neo is the one because he believes that he's the one. Morpheus knew that it was his belief and faith that would manifest the savior of humanity, he just needed to find the person who would share his belief and thus work towards making it a reality. Rather than someone who was arbitrarily chosen by some unknown force, as mentioned by the Oracle, Neo was picked by at random. And it's his experiences with Morpheus and Trinity that lead him to believe that he could do what the One was prophesized to do and made him realize that it's his choice to become the savior that makes him the This is exemplified in the final Matrix movie when Agent Smith asks him why he continues to persist in fighting and Neo says, because I choose to. It's all about choice. Morpheus chooses to believe Neo is the one and Neo chooses to fight for his people, thus they fulfill the prophecy by exercising free will. I would like to leave you with this quote from Morpheus with the first choice offered up in the Matrix. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill, the story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe what you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes.